So over here you can see that I have a character animator project. So if I were to go and play this out, you can see that I have a bunch of hand animations right there. But you can see that the timeline is very, very large. So what I want is I just want this area right here. So I'm just going to zoom it in. So what I want to do is I want to cut this off. So for that, I need to enable something called work area. And to do that, I'm going to go onto the top and right click. And over here on the top, you can see that enable work area is an option. Once you click on it, you get this in an out point right here. So you can go ahead and drag this in right here and just select out the part that has the animation that you want. So I'm just going to keep it a bit apart so that there's a resting area over here as well. So now what I want to do is I want to delete out the, the uh, area before it and after it. So I can simply right click on it right here. And here you can see that there's an option called trim scene to work area. Once I click on it, what happens is that only that area remains now, as you can see. So if I were to press the play button right here, that's the only area that is there in the entire project, as you can see, and it repeats out. And that is how you can work around with a certain area. You can also expand this out and then click on trim to work area to get more of it back. So I can go around and change it out and get more space as I want as well. So it's not that your work area is lost. So you can just go around right here and trim comp to work area to trim it out. Or if you want to get more, simply click and drag uh, it out even more and then click on trim scene to work area. So that is how you can enable work area and trim scene to work area inside of Adobe Character Animator. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.